Today I would like you to show you top 5 opening traps from the Queen's Gambit. It is uh, one of the most common uh, common openings in chess. Uh, it starts with d4, d5, c4 and uh, uh, let's see what happens if happen it's black uh, tries to uh, take this pawn. We play e3 and attack this pawn with, with our bishop. And if black tries to hold on to this pawn, we, we have simple a4 move, uh, which is the under, undermine these pawn structures. And if it takes, we take with the bishop and later we take this pawn so he defends it for example with, with e6 uh, if he did, uh, do that we just uh, uh, take a, take his uh, rook so that is not the good move he could try with uh, c6 but it's uh, not good also because we have uh, in this position we have one winning move for for the white we can uh, try to uh, find winning move here and uh, actually funny thing is that um, in this position uh, uh, alexander alekhin the ex uh, chess champion didn't see the the win for for um white and he didn't play the, the winning move and the winning move is actually queen to f3 and um, it, it attacks this rook and uh, black haven't got uh, a good uh, way to defend it because he cannot block it he cannot block with the bishop or the knight or the the, uh, the queen so he best try is to try to block with um, the knight but he uh, he just lose the knight and after uh, bishop to d7 uh, white must go back and he would have the full knight uh, full knight up and if he tries you can try to uh, treat it as a gambit but it's not good also because you will take the rook and you cannot cannot you cannot trap the queen because you can always take this knight uh, now let's see trap number two it starts the same d4 d5 c4 and uh, after dc4 uh, the queen gambit um, accepts it we play e3 and uh, after we already see that uh, black don't uh, he cannot hold on to this pawn so he tried to develop his pieces with uh, knight to f6 we are gonna pick up this pawn and a lot of black players like to fianchetto their bishops with uh, a g6 move we will develop our knights with uh, knight to f3 and uh, black will fianchetto his bishop as plan and now we don't want to castle right away first we have this uh, interesting move queen to a4 check and now uh, black cannot castle because he is in check and uh, he have a couple of ways uh, to block he can block with his uh, pawn he can block with his uh, knight uh, with his bishop to d7 or his knight to d7 and he can block with his uh, queen to d7 he don't want to make another knight move uh, and uh, block with this knight so uh, let's see what's happen if he uh, block with his queen if he block with his queen we have this uh, bishop to f7 uh, check and after black uh, capture our bishop we have this nice fork so it's not good for the black and uh, let's see what happen if he uh, blocks with uh, his bishop if he blocks with his bishop we have this queen to b3 move and we make double threat to f7 pawn and to b7 pawn so it's not good for the black also and uh, <clears throat> let's see what happen if he blocks with, uh, with with the knight if he blocks with the knight we have this same motive a bishop to uh, f7 and after black captures we have this uh, knight to g7 uh, knight to g5 check and if black, uh, black tries to to go to the e8 uh, again we have this nice uh, move which is uh, actually capturing uh, the black uh, the black queen and uh, and if he, if he black uh, tries to go to f8 uh, we have this fork on e6 so that's not good and if he, if he tries to play uh, king to g8 we have this next uh, this nice checkmate in next couple of moves so that doesn't work either and uh, actually the best move for the black is to respond is to play c6 and uh, now we must react because uh, this uh, b5 move is a threat we go back and uh, uh, it's, it's, it is uh, we try to, to um, black will probably castle and uh, games goes on we didn't uh, we didn't uh, our trap didn't work but we have normal games it's a zero 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 our trap number three is famous elephant trap it is trap for the black so I'll just flip this board uh, so we can see for the for the black pers perspective it starts the same d4 uh, d5 c uh, c4 it is the uh, queen's gambit we play e6 it is the more classical approach which try to defend our pawn and we have uh, knight to c3 now and knight to f6 
uh, bishop to g5 uh, and uh, now black can set this trap with uh, knight to d7 and uh, like you see uh, this this pawn is uh, can be exchanged and uh, it looks like this pawn is uh, free for the taking because uh, this knight is pinned to the queen but let's see what happen it if uh, white take this pawn if white, white take this pawn actually uh, black can ignore it, ignore it and he can uh, pick, pick this uh, knight yes he would lose his queen uh, with uh, bishop to d8 uh, but we have this uh, bishop to b4 move and um, we give check and black cannot do anything else but block with his queen and uh, after uh, exchange we pick up the white uh, bishop and we we have um, this extra extra knight on the board and it is a winning posi position for the black our trap number four is uh, again trap for the black and it is uh, have name uh, cambridge spring uh, trap it starts uh, same d4 d5 uh, c c4 e6 classical variation it starts actually like the the trap number free we set up the trap for the elephant trap but if he uh, if white know what he's doing and he he didn't um, want to exchange this uh, pawn and he play e3 we have this c6 move and uh, black black uh, white would play um, knight to f3 and uh, we have this uh, counter move which is the queen to a5 move and um, we have uh, many ideas here we have bishop to b4 we have knight to uh, e4 move uh, to pressure this knight and also this bishop so uh, in if white tries to play st standard uh, queen's gambit uh, moves we have this uh, knight to e4 move and we are take this I take this knight uh, twice and it is pinned so actually you you see that it's not the gambiting uh, of the of the of the um, of the piece so if blacks uh, black accepts it we have this this move and uh, this this knight is attacked and this bishop uh, is also attacked so one of them must move so probably uh, uh, white in this position will play with play uh, queen to see uh, queen to c2 and now we have the, uh, this trap we, we pick up this bishop and after white we capture we have this um, dc4 move we attack this bishop uh, we attack this bishop sorry and uh, also we are taking this knight uh, so uh, black can so uh, save only one and will uh, will be peace up so that is the trap and uh, in this position actually best continuation for white could be to uh, pick up this uh, knight and after we pick up this bishop yes the the knight and the bishop are uh, are attacked and uh, we, we we have this uh, move which says the game uh, knight to e5 and after exchange uh, notice that now we cannot uh, capture this pawn and uh, solve all our problems problems because um, because white is this uh, check checkmate so um, black must be uh, a bit a little bit careful in this in this trap we save best for the last uh, we have my personal favorite uh, the trap number five it starts for the from the elbing counter gambit which is this e5 move and uh, if uh, black, uh, white accept our uh, gambit we have this d4 move and uh, uh, why don't want to try uh, don't want to let this uh, pawn uh, controlling uh, many squares and uh, st stick to lawn in his game so many players play e3 uh, here try to exchange the the the, the pawns and uh, mess the the black pawn structure but b we have this uh, bishop to b4 check and uh, if uh, white blocks with uh, bishop d2 which is the normal looking move we will play uh, d3 move and white will see free bishop and he will take it and uh, here actually we have this e f2 check and uh, black cannot uh, capture this because he would lose his uh, queen he would play king to e2 and uh, actually uh, in this position it is not good to, to promote to the queen because after uh, the end of the line we have this intermezzo move uh, which is the exchange the queens and uh, white is uh, totally fine here so in, instead of the the promote to the queen uh, you can post the video and uh, find the winning move the winning move for the black is actually promoting to uh, to a knight with a check so uh, uh, white must react and uh, if he pick up our knight we don't want to exchange the queens but we want to have the, the, the free queen and uh, 
we we have the the uh, we have the white queen so uh it's not good to uh to take this knight and white would probably go back and it is plus nine from this position because this it is the overwhelming position we have just randomly our knight stuck in the the eighth rank in the first rank sorry and we'll uh, uh we'll develop our uh, uh, knight with the tempo also our bishop we will long castle and pract practically destroy our opponent so that is our five trap uh, i hope you enjoyed see you next video bye